Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this new video on ordinals uh, or the Ordi token. I also saw the NOLS, N-A-L-S token. Um, I'm not sure if, this, if, if, if it's the same. I don't, I, I really don't know. I, I don't know that much about this project, all right? I saw it. I saw that it had a volume of 80 million, a market cap of 350 million. And I thought, well, I need to cover this, all right? With so much volume. Uh, but I don't know that much of what what's going on. I mean, obviously, it has to do with Bitcoin ordinals, and it actually has uh, somewhat of a uh, it has a great domain name. It looks solid. It actually looks like um, a, a, a real project about ordinals. But I do not know that much about it. All right, I know about ordinals. I do, uh, but I do not know about the token, what role it plays. It has no, at least according to my knowledge, it has no uh, Twitter account. I could look that up real quick, um, but it seems to be, I mean, right now there's a, a huge hype around ordinals and, and BRC, BRC20 tokens, which is a little bit of a weird name. Um, but yeah, in this video, I mainly wanted to focus on the technicals for the Ordi token, all right? Let me know down in the comments and let other viewers also know what this token is about. I do not know the tokenomics. I do not know the utility of the token. I very much doubt that there is any. And I very much doubt if there is more information to find on this, because like I said, couldn't find a Twitter, couldn't find anything. But all right, we're going to be talking about the technicals. I believe I can still do that without knowing about the project. And we're just knowing about the current momentum uh, and the sentiment and the narratives in the market, because I do know about that. Um, but if you do not believe that, then click away. That's fine. But before we get into the, the rest of this video, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment. There you'll actually find uh, links to join my trading signal group. Uh, we've been very profitable so far, so check that out. Now on to uh, now on to ordinals. It had it, it's a relatively new token as well. It launched the uh, it launched about a week ago. Since then, has had some major listings. Only B exchanges though right now with Bing X, Gate.io, Bitget, Bitmart, those type of things. But a lot of volume, like I said. Uh, and we also earlier today got a, ma a major bullish breakout. We started this this uptrend kind of on Friday Friday afternoon. Struggled a little bit with $13 as a, as a resistance level, but after that we managed to break out and earlier today we got our biggest breakout yet by breaking above this dollar, uh, this level right here around $15. $15 obviously being a psychological support level or resistance level. And we also broke above the 618 FIP of this entire move down. So it's, it's a pretty big breakout, but now uh, it seems that that 618 FIP breakout was not enough and we're testing $15 again. So what's going to happen is that we're going to drop down to that level. We're going to find support there, I think. But from there, what we would need to do is that you see this level on the chart, or at least let me actually show it to you. It's another psychological level around 17.5, right? So there's this minor psychological level and it's it's a normal technical level right here. And what we need to do is what, what we will do is find support at $15 and we'll try to break above that level. If we really want to rally and get to our all-time highs, what we would need to do is break ab above at least 17.5. If we can do that, I don't think we need to break above all the way uh, above 18.4, which is the top of that level. Break above 17.5 and we can rally all the way up to 22 and $24 easily, uh, I think. And from there, we can start to talk about making new all-time highs, but it's a bit quick, a bit early to talk about that already. But that's what we need to do. And if, if we've, like I said, I think we'll find support at $15. But if we are not able to break above that in the next like two days, we're losing momentum. And then it's more likely that we'll drop a little bit down to like $13 and 12, 12, 11, maybe even and consolidate at which point it will be increasingly more hard to actually rally. But that's my take on, uh, on Ordi and Ordinals for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.